All right, thank you very much, Ron. It's almost Halloween, as you know. Why not head to downtown Evansville for free fun for the whole family? That's right. So to tell us the details of this year's Halloween stroll and trunk or treat car show, Adam Trinka with downtown Evansville, also our second employee here at Eyewitness. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Just put me on the payroll here. Okay. No kidding. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Of course. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. So tell us all about this event. So tomorrow, uh, we have our third annual Halloween Stroll and Trunk or Treat Car Show. It's a mouthful. But for us, <laughs> yeah. it's really an opportunity for the community to come downtown, trick or treat, um, enjoy a car show, and really shop and support our businesses downtown and dine, too. So um, people can enter the car show. There's no fees. Uh, just show up with your vehicle starting at 10 a.m. at 3rd and Main. The car show itself will take place on about four blocks of Main Street. Um, the 300, 400, 500, and 600 blocks of Main Street. And then we par that along with trick-or-treating at 20-plus businesses downtown okay. and lots of activities like face painting, corn sensory pools, um, new for this year, pumpkin bowling, because <gasps> why not something fun oh for gosh, the whole really? family? Yeah, so we're really looking forward to it. You're seeing some great photos from last year. This is a huge event for us. Um, wonderful event. A lot of families come. It's free to attend. And it's just a great opportunity to come and explore downtown. Now, did you say the candy is in all the different stores, or is it the cars, both? It'll be both. So okay. some of the right. trucks, will, our vehicles will have trunk retreating, and then we have candy that we're providing to 20-plus businesses downtown. So we have a map on our website and on our social media pages at downtown Evansville, Indiana, uh, places like Licks and even places on 4th Street like Goldman's Pawn Shop, and then a lot of places on Main Street as well. So there will be a map on our website now. There's a, there are going to be maps that day tomorrow. So you'll know where to go and get all that free goodies. All right, let's talk two things. One, the costume contest, and two, this pumpkin bowling. Yes, so <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned the costume contest because <laughs> I don't even think I covered that yet. You're but our fine. friends um, at My1053, Liberty and oh, Bobby, yeah. um, are yep. going to be our celebrity judges. So, um, you know, dress up. We have three different categories, family, kids, and pets. And okay. so that'll take place at 1 p.m. at the inter intersection or the corner of 3rd and Main Street. So okay. uh, it's very popular. They have a very tough job every year because there's so <laughs> many um, very creative costumes uh, through the years. Um, and so that'll be tomorrow at 1 p.m. Okay. Okay. And then the pumpkin bowling is just something new. Um, literally, we're just setting up a... Hey, straw bales and, and some bowling pins and bowl with some pumpkins. Why not, right? <laughs> <That's so cool. laughs> How'd you come up with that idea? Well, I saw it at a Halloween party, frankly. Oh, okay. Just, okay. You okay. know, you, you kind okay. of steal and take some of those great ideas that you, you see through yes. the years. And so yes. we just thought, why not? Um, we, the corn sensory pools is new for us, yeah. too. We, we've done it at another event. Um, we have Halloween inflatables, too. Face okay. painting is hugely popular for this event. Face painting is actually going to be on 4th Street, so we're really okay. emphasizing that stroll aspect. So there's going to be a lot of activity on Main Street, but 4th Street and Walnut as well. And okay. so um, we appreciate Ron getting the weather for us good, I think, <laughs> at least during the day tomorrow. Yeah. So, um, the event is three hours, 11 to 2 p.m., and we just want to invite the community to come. Everything is free. Go. And in terms of the costume contest, what are the prizes for that? So that we, uh, you know, a big focus for us, as I talk about when I come, is uh, supporting our businesses sure. downtown. So each winner will receive a gift card to a downtown business. So, nice. Um, okay. You All know, right, cool. especially right now, if you come downtown, the 200 block of Main Street is under reconstruction. Mm -hmm. The 300 block has reopened as of a couple weeks ago. It looks incredible, so people can see the work that's been sure. done. Um, but we're really continuing to try to tell that story of the progress that's taking place downtown. Um, and some of those temporary hiccups that caused some inconvenience right now, but we're really excited um, to get the 200 block reopened later this, or next month. Cool. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Adam, for as always, for coming in and treating us to downtown information. Yeah. Thanks again. We'll see you soon. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, Ron's back in with your forecast.